B and C operate at respective constant rates. So pump A and B, pump A and B in together. Let's do hours and rate. So let's say machine A, his rate is little a, and machine B is little b. Now that's a rate. And they can fill a certain tank in six-fifths hours. So this would be six-fifths, but you take the reciprocal of that for the rate, and that's five-six. So we know that A plus B equal five-six. And it tells me pumps A and C, A and C, Operating time, we can fill the tank in three halves hours. So using the same format, that would be A's rate plus C rate equals the time. And the time is three halves hours, but we're going to take the reciprocal to make it in terms of a rate. And that would be two thirds. And then pumps B and C. B plus C can fill the tank in two hours, which would be one half. Okay, so what we're trying to find is how many hours does it take pump A, B, and C to fill the tank? So if you've got A, B, and C hours together, right, and we're trying to figure out how many hours does it take. So we're trying to find that right there. So this is rate A, rate B, rate C, and this would be one over X. So I'm trying to find A plus B plus C equals together, which is one over X. So let's use this information. Let's form three equations. I think that's what I wanna do. So A plus B plus C equals one over X. Well, we know A plus B is five, six. So that's five, six plus C equal one over X. And we know A plus C is two thirds. So that would be two thirds plus B equals one over X. B plus C, that's this one and this one is one half. One half plus what? That's B plus C, that leaves me an A. One half plus A equals one over X. So let's just look at these three equations. And what I'm hoping to do is find out what A plus B plus C equals and then substitute that in right there. That's what I'm hoping to find. So I'm kind of running out of room, but we'll make the best of it. What I want to do is add these three equations together. If I did that, that would give me A, that's this A here, plus B plus C, A plus B plus C, plus these three fractions, and I'm gonna go ahead and get a common denominator, five six plus two thirds with a six is gonna be a four six, and then one half is three six. So I've added the left-hand side together, and now let's add the right-hand side together. So that's one over x plus one over x plus one over x, so that would be three over x. So this is a plus b plus c, plus nine, I'm adding these three fractions together, that'd be nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 over six, which is two, equals three over x. So a plus b plus c equals three over x minus two. So now let's substitute in another name for a plus b plus c. Another name for a plus b plus c is three over x minus two. So let me write this down. I'm going to go to another screen, but let me write down. We know that A plus B plus C equals 1 over X. And that's what I'm trying to find. And what we've just found is that A plus B plus C equals 3 over X minus 2. So let's go to a new screen. So we're trying to find A plus B plus C equals 1 over X trying to solve for X, because X is gonna be a total number of hours. And we know another name for A plus B plus C is three over X minus two. So let's substitute that in here. That's three over X minus two equal one over X. I'm gonna clear my fractions by multiplying through by X. 
That's 3 minus 2x equal 1. That's negative 2x equals negative 2. That's x equals 1. So that's our answer. It'd be 1 over 1, which is 1. So that's it.